Hi there, Alex here at mixinglessons.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a template using Luna. Templates in Luna are really useful because when you create a new session, you can create that session from a template. And so what will happen is that when that uh, session loads, it will already have loaded into it any tracks that you want to have set up, uh, routing between different tracks. You can have all the tracks named, you can color code them, you can already have things like plugins loaded on different channels. You could even have settings dialed into those plugins. And so when you start that session, all of that will already be in place. And it's something that you don't have to do at the beginning of every session. So it can save you a lot of time and it's a really useful feature. So first and foremost, let's have a look at what happens when we create a new session using a template. So we're just in the create window in Luna and we'll give our new session a name. And then you can see here, you have the option to start from a template. So if we click there, and I'm going to use this band template that I've set up. So this is just a template that I've created, which is like your typical band mix for me. So it's got a drum kit rooted to a drum bus, some guitars, some lead vocal channels. There's no audio in there. It's simply all the channels are set up, ready to use, and for me to import the audio into. So we can click choose template, it will automatically take the tempo and the time signature from the template. But if they're not appropriate for this new session that you're creating, then you can change those. And then you simply click create. And so as you can see here in this new session that we've created, I already have all of my tracks ready. So kick, snare, rack tom, floor tom, overheads, room, and they're all rooted to a drum bus. I've got a DI track and a mic track for the bass guitar rooted to a bass bus. Same with the acoustic guitar, electric guitar goes to a bus, two more electric guitar tracks to a bus, two lead vocal tracks, backing vocals. And I've also set up a channel for my plate reverb, for a chamber reverb and for a delay. And as you can see here, I've already loaded the pure plate reverb plugin onto my plate reverb channel. Then I've got a chamber reverb plugin and also a delay plugin. And those are already set up on these bus channels. I've also added an 1176 to each of the lead vocal channels because typically I more often than not do use an 1176 on vocals. And I've also got things set up the way I want them in terms of having bus compressors on the bus channels and the API vision channel strip on each of the audio channels. I've got things set up how I want them in terms of which tape machines I'm using and the saturation options and also the summing options as well. And so now I'm in a position to simply start dragging audio tracks into this session, putting my kick drum audio onto the kick drum channel, snare drum and so on. And I can get up and running pretty quickly without having to go through the process of setting up each of these channels, adding plugins where I want them, choosing my tape options, uh, color coding things and so on. And of course, having created this session using this template, there's nothing to stop me adding more tracks or taking tracks away if I wanted to. So if I needed additional toms or if there were more room mics on the kit, I can simply add those channels in, in the way that I normally would, route those to the drum bus. Or let's say we have only two electric guitars, not four in the way that I've prepared for here. That's fine, I can just delete a couple of the electric guitar channels. And so it's completely versatile. You're not locked into doing things the way that they're set up in this template if you don't want to. It simply creates a really useful starting point. Okay, so that's how you would create a new session using a template. Now let's have a look at how to create a template. So if we start a new session, and obviously we didn't create this session using a template. So there's nothing in here. All those tracks that we already had in place when we used the template, none of that's here. It's, it's a completely blank session as it would be if you didn't use a template. So let's say we want to create a template for a singer songwriter. Let's say you're a singer songwriter and you want to use this template for writing. So you're going to have maybe two acoustic guitar tracks, maybe a left and a right going to a bus and then one vocal track and maybe a reverb. We'll keep it nice and simple. So let's add the tracks in the way that we normally would. So we'll create a left and right track for the acoustic guitar. And then we'll also create a bus for those two tracks to be rooted to. 
Then we'll add another track for the lead vocal. And finally, a track for our reverb. Okay, and so now we've got the tracks that we want. Now let's set up the routing. So we want the two acoustic guitar tracks to go to the acoustic bus. And then the acoustic bus and the vocal track and the reverb are all going to go to the main, so that's fine. Let's add a reverb plugin to our reverb channel. And now let's say, for example, you particularly like one of the presets on this reverb, and it tends to be the one that you always use for your vocals. Well, we could set that up in advance. So let's say you particularly like chamber for vocal. You can set that up and then that is part of your template. So when you use this template to create a new session, you don't have to select that preset. It's already ready for you. Let's also say that you want to set up the send to take the signal from your vocal to this reverb channel. You can set that up in advance as well. So now we already have a send in place to send a copy of the vocal to the reverb. You could dial in the level if you wanted to, or you could just leave it uh, turned down for now, and then it's there ready for you to add your reverb to your vocals when you want to in the session. Let's say you always like to use a particular compressor on your vocals. Maybe you like the LA2, so you can have that set up and ready. And again, if you wanted to, you could dial in particular settings onto this compressor, or you could pick a particular preset. So let's say you like the male vocal preset. You can have that already set up and part of the template. Similarly, if you wanted to, maybe you know that you always high pass your vocals in the API Vision channel strip. So you can simply go here, turn this plugin on, and you could high pass those vocals. And again, that's already set up and part of that template. If it's something that you do every time you record or mix for a particular type of session, you can just have it there as part of the template ready to go. Now, obviously, some people won't want to go to that extent when they're setting up a template. Maybe you want your EQ and your compression decisions to be entirely unique for each session. There's nothing to say that you have to start selecting certain settings on EQ or compression plugins in advance, but it's an option if you do want to work that way, if you do find that you typically do the same things each time you record and mix your songs then you can have that set up if you want to. Now, while we're talking about EQ and compression, I've got two free guides that I think you'll find really useful. I've got an EQ cheat sheet and a compression cheat sheet, and you can get both of those completely free when you head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads. Okay, so we've got our tracks added. We've added some plugins. We've dialed in a couple of settings on the EQ and the compression. We've chosen our reverb preset. So let's say that this is as far as we want to go with this template. This is how we want to be able to create new sessions from now on using this template without doing all of this from scratch. All you would do is go to File and Save as Template. And you can give this a name. So let's say it's a songwriting template. You could add notes here if you wanted to. So let's say left and right acoustic, one vocal, one reverb. You can put whatever you want to in there anything that's going to be useful to you when you go to load this template. And then you simply click save. And now that's saved as a template. It tells us here that we've saved that as a template. Now let's say you are working on some sessions and you decide, actually this template isn't as useful to me as it used to be. I don't want this high pass filter in place anymore. And more often than not, I'm not using this compressor anymore, but I am using the Pultech EQ, for example, you could simply make that change and then you can modify your template. So if you go back to save as template once again and click on this template, and then you'll see here that you are given the option to replace. So you can click replace and that will overwrite that template. So now this version of the template is the one that you have saved and that you can create a new session from. So now you have that template there and you can create a new session from that template whenever you want to, whenever having these tracks in place and these plugins and different settings is going to be a useful starting point for you to then start working from. So I really hope you found this video useful. I'm going to leave a link on screen to a video which talks you through how to use the versions and bookmarks features in Luna. Versions and bookmarks are two different ways of saving your session at different moments, saving different versions of your session or saving 
a checkpoint in your session and using templates and versions and bookmarks are I think three ways of really streamlining the way that you use Luna and so I'll leave that video on screen I think you'll find that really useful don't forget to head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads for that free cue cheat sheet and that free compression cheat sheet thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time